So there's a lot of charts you can make inside of Illustrator, but the one we're going to make is we're going to use the chart tool and we're going to make a line chart. We're going to compare a swimmer's time over a year. So we're going to click the line graph tool. That's the one with line graph and we're going to uh, double click it and we're going to make sure that we're going to undo the override, make sure all that's the way we want it. Now we're going to drag this out. Okay, and there's nothing there that we like. So the first thing we're going to do is where that one is, is a quote mark and the word year. Hit the return. Quote mark 2010. Return. Quote, um, quote mark 2011. Return. And quote mark 2012. Return. So now we've got our years. Now we're going to do time for the amount of time in that year, the average time. Time. And we're going to get right below time. So let's say he did two laps that took um, 120 seconds, point zero six, And then the following year, it only took him 118 flat. And then the third year, he really improved 114.86. So now we've got it. Now all we have to do is click this, and you can see it, but boy, there's a big gap there. So before we change colors or do anything, let's change the way we see our, our um, line graph. So let's double click the line graph tool, come over to the value axis, override, so we know that we didn't go anything less than 114. So let's make it 112 and for the minimum. And the maximum, well, let's make it 121. Let's make it uh, 10 divisions. And now you got a better representation in tenths of seconds. We could actually make it 100 of seconds, but we're not. Okay. Now we need to change the color because we've got all the data. So let's change our colors. Cancel that. Let's go grab the white arrow right over here. And I'm going to roll it right over that little rectangle there. I'm going to hold the Option key and click three times quick. One, two, three. And I didn't get them all because I should have gotten there. So let's try again. Click off. Try it one more time. One, two, three. There we go. Now I got them all. Going to come over here to the swatch, and I think I'll pick red for the dots, sort of a pinky red. So now we can see those dots pretty well. Let's put a hover the line over to the line, hold the option, two, one, two. There you go, and let's change that to a nice um, purple. Nah, light green. There we go. That looks pretty sick. All right, so now we have our line chart. And you can do multiple lines, you just keep doing them the same way. So I'm going to come over here and click the Layer tool, because what I want to do is I'm going to take break this uh, chart up so that I can just get this line and these dots right here, nothing else, and, and take those all over to my um, uh, an Edge Animate and animate them, and I still can keep my graph. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I am going to uh, grab this chart. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to click my layer. And I'm going to come up under Object. And I'm going to Ungroup. And then you get the, the world will come to an end, but don't worry about it. Just unclick. Now we know that the only things we really want are these things and you can if you just highlight them you'll see that they're in these two groups right here so let's flip these down until we see the there's the single one so the one we don't want is this one this one and this one we don't want those so we'll do that and then we'll go to this group and what we don't want out of this group is so let's flip that down and we have to lock it individually my fault let's try it again click here command c let's go jump over to um, edge paste 
Ah, this time I didn't get the line. Can't see it. Say OK. Now this is going to paste in and I'm just going to nudge this up to the very bottom. Okay, just leave it the way it is. I know it's not where we want it, but trust me. Okay, I'm going to jump back to AI and I am going to lock the things that I already took and unlock the others. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to unlock everything. Unlock. And I know it's not this group. I know that can be locked. I know that can be locked. Um, I don't want the whole group. The things that I want to lock are here, here, and here. So I don't want those. Then I'll come down to the next group. And the thing that I don't want are this and this. But everything else is good. I don't want this. I don't want this. Um, I don't want, I, I just want the, the line. So I was locking the wrong thing. So I want that. Make sure we only take, lock the things that we don't want. Looks good. Let's try it now. Go up to the very top, click, Command C. You know, if you don't get it the first time, don't give up. Give it a few shots. Let's jump over to here, and I'm going to paste Command V. Yep, OK. And that's almost where we want it. I just need to drag it over a little bit. And that looks about right. Now I can grab everything, move it to where I want it click off just click my line and I'm gonna make this line grow you can do it with a button I'm just gonna do it automatically by turning on over here in the left clipping turn it on and I'm gonna set this number right here which is 370 remember that to zero keyframe I'll roll this down to two seconds and then I'll turn that back to 370 Okay, command return, and you can see our line grows and does the points. And that's all there is to making a line graph. Like I said, don't give up if you're having a little trouble in um, Illustrator trying to get the right uh, layers. Just keep at it. You will get it, and you'll be done. And that be it. We finished. Yay!